So guys, welcome back to the garage. We're gonna go over that Salvation Army trip in a minute. I did get a little bit of unfortunate news while I was there tonight. The manager pulled me aside and said that they are putting an end to Half Price Wednesdays. So they're restructuring their deals a little bit. So now they're gonna have two color tags, um, which if you wanna see, basically they're represented color tag or on other things, they are just simply written on with a letter there. Uh, basically, they're picking two colors, and for the whole week, those colors are going to be half off. So while that eliminates half price day, basically, I'll be able to go now any day of the week and get two different kind of items half price. Um, unfortunate, but just got to restructure a little bit, but it'll be good. So the first thing we picked up was this Squishmallow. It is from 2019. It's their, I guess, Unicorn Narwh Narwhal. Um... I try to avoid reselling Squishmallow, but this one, I feel bad because it's not like in a, in a retail store. It's a retired print, so now it's a collectible item, and I sell collectibles. So got this. This one, the retired one, goes for about $20, $25, and it was a blue tag. Blue tag was half off tonight. So I think basically everything except for one or two things were half off. So this one came up to $1.50. Next item we got were five of these MLB plushy uh, mascot figures. So these are the different uh, mascots. So you got Braves, Rockies, Marlins, Rays, and Astros. They were all marked at this $199. So half off. These were a buck a piece. And I think the majority were going like $10 to $15 plus shipping. Um, one varied. I think the Astros might have been around like $20, but I'm not sure. But for a buck, these should sell pretty well. Because sport-themed items like this can sell really, really well and really, really quick, especially around Q4 this time of year. Next up, we have a pair of Shy Mano. Close enough, I guess, on the name. MO87 cycling shoes. Um, so they didn't, they don't come with the little brackets. Uh, but I think basically you put, they basically hold your feet to the bot to a bicycle. Um, these were $5.99 blue. They have the B there. So three bucks, I think these comped out around like $25, $30, $45 maybe because they're in, they're in really, really good condition. Like no wear at all. Cycling shoes, if they were, oh, well, this tells me right now. So that's the paper. So I'm going to guess brand new without the box. So not too shabby on that for $3. Another one you saw me pick up tonight is a brand that I've picked up before and a brand that sells really, really well. So this is a white and baby blue we got the Foot Joy logo there and on the back and on the inside Foot Joy with Titleist. So two of the best known golf names on one item makes it just that much easier to sell. Um, I didn't comp it out at all because I don't really need to. Um, I'll do a little bit more research. Titleist and Foot Joy. I am guessing maybe 2025 20, on this. It has one little stain here under the zipper. Nothing a little bit of my best friend. Mr. OxyClean can't handle. So a good little pickup there for $2.50 with the blue tag today. And last but not least, something that I didn't think I would ever buy. So you saw that they had all these against the wall, these hat boxes. Well, I looked through all of them and only one of them was really in good enough shape and had enough return value on it to get. It is a Stenson Cub, Mas Cub Scout Master hat. Um, it's the official, it has the Boy Scouts of America branding in there. Perfect oval Stetson with the, the clip, the adjuster, all that stuff. So it's in really, really good condition. Uh, Boy Scouts of America logoed older stuff is selling really, really well. And Stetson is a hat brand that you want to look out for in the vintage market. So that's another two great things combined to make your item very, very sellable. These were comping out, I think, around $60 to $80. And I paid for this $5.99. Uh, and it was full price because it was blue and yellow were the tags tonight. So not a bad trip at all. Um, got a lot of interesting items, no video games or anything tonight, but a lot of things that should sell pretty well. Let's go to the next. I think, sorry, I forgot about this one. I also got this copy of MXC Most Extreme Elimination Challenge on DVD. This is one that I've watched a lot of growing up and I know a lot of you guys probably did too. So I actually picked this up at first. Uh, it has both discs uh, at first as for me to keep and watch, but these comp out around 30, 40 bucks. So be on the lookout for this MXC logo because apparently they sell pretty well.
check this out guys the beanie babies i'm gonna be rich i don't have to work anymore oh there's more down there let's go So just finished up at Goodwill. Let's go over what I found. I got, you saw me pull that Patagonia hoodie. It is a men's medium. I've actually never found any Patagonia yet. So that was pretty cool from the first find. That was $7.50 for that guy. This was pretty cool. I posted it on my Instagram for uh, if I should get it or not. It's a 1992 Bugs Bunny single stitch genus sweatshirt um i couldn't find this exact one but like sales were were about i think 60 to 80 but i paid five i think that'll be a pretty good deal so i have my little helper with me it's so get off get, get, get off the merchandise ah, i know i know i got a game for myself wwf just or smackdown just bring it i didn't have this one yet for the ps2 and then the other thing I found was, you saw they had a whole bunch of sealed DVD seasons. Not, many were worth it on their own. They would have been worth it if there was like the full set and not at $6 a piece. If they had bundled them, that would have been really cool. But for $6, it is Ellerly Queen Mysteries. Six DVDs worth. For six bucks, I think these were comping out around like 80, I want to say. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but that is a great find for $6 quick and easy sale that should be especially with q4 coming up